This is what firefighters were faced with in the Murray area overnight. Several towns in the path of the blaze were evacuated and a number of homes were destroyed. This is a region where the catastrophic black summer fires are still fresh in people's minds. We can't believe already we're back here again. It just happened incredibly fast. We didn't actually even have time to pack a bag. This time we just jumped in the car with the dogs. The Prime Minister and Premier came to Bega for a briefing on the situation and to thank firefighters and others for their ongoing efforts to protect the community. We can smell, we can see the impact that these fires are having and that would be having a triggering response uh, for people who went through such a traumatic time. We are one week into October and we're experiencing mid-summer conditions, multiple days above 30 degrees, high winds. And even though those conditions have eased, the danger hasn't passed. A tree fell onto this ute today, causing the driver to swerve and hit another tree. The man in his 40s was taken to hospital in a stable condition. After a whirlwind 24 hours, rain started falling over this blackened landscape. It's brought a sigh of relief for locals, even if it only brings temporary respite. And while many are feeling anxious, some believe lessons have been learnt from the previous fires. I think the whole community feels so strongly that we're much better prepared. We're an incredibly cooperative community. And a grateful one too. Adrian Redden, ABC News, Bermagui. And Adrian Ridden is live for us now in Barraga Bay tonight. Adrian, what are conditions like there now? Lydia, it is bucketing down. Up to 80 mils is on the cards, so he's hoping it will make a difference on those fire grounds. Uh, the main fire on the far south coast is being controlled. Conditions have eased, but, you know, winds could pick up. Uh, the other main threat here is the risk of falling trees, which is why a roadblock has still been set up behind me and some locals have still been unable to return to their homes. And, of course, uh, fire crews will continue to undertake property assessment, but they'll only do it if it's uh, safe to do so. Adrian Reardon reporting from Barraga Bay.